Your throat looks okay and your temperature's normal. And are you a qualified doctor? No. So why would I believe you? Because I'm the parent and I know best. <coughs> Ring the school. Tell them I'm dying. It burns! It burns! April, is this for real? Because I can't afford to take time off work unless you're properly poorly. Oh, but of course, if they send you home with a temperature of 149, I will hate myself forever, if not longer. Ellis can look after me. Yes, he could! He could! Could you? Oh, sorry. Shouting. Oh, it's with the shouting. And I might already have a life. A very cool life. Right, listen, listen. I know yesterday didn't go well with your mum. My fault, my fault, because I encouraged you to build bridges which subsequently burned to the ground. However, you are here enjoying the creature comforts of our home anyway and should be no trouble, will you, April? OK. OK. Oh, thank you. Right, back to bed and no coming downstairs to watch telly or bother Alice. Can hear ya. You're meant to be sick in bed. I'm uh, feeling a lot better now. It must be an allergy. An allergy to what? Schoolwork? <sighs> Faker. Okay, busted. But I have sort of been doing schoolwork. A scientific study. The subjects watched Lorraine, did 20 sit ups, two planks, then he made avocado on toast. He went on social media for ages and ages and... Is there a point apart from the one at the end of your pencil? You said you do cool things all day. Where's all this cool stuff? This is cool. I'm managing my squad. And anyway, I'm stuck indoors looking after you. Well then, let's go out and see what you do out of the house. Oh, come on, I'm bored. Sorry, we can't risk your dad seeing you and finding out you were faking it. to this, so I'm going to explain how it works. I wind on and on and on and on until I weigh you down and then you just give in to my demands. Or we can skip that part and go and have fun now. <laughs>